Hello, just Jamie here. Thanks for watching this latest video. I'm going to be looking at the Acorn Archimedes and emulating it as a tutorial. So, during the 1980s and up to the mid 1990s, we had the ongoing war between the Commodore Amiga and the great Atari ST. In the background of this, we've also got the Acorn Archimedes line of computers developed by Acorn in Cambridge in the UK. So what the Acorn was, was essentially trying to be an education computer as well as a home computer whilst also battling it out between the Commodore Amiga and the Atari ST. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that Acorn Archimedes didn't stand much of a chance. So the Acorn Archimedes, it featured the ARM processor which stands for Acorn Risk Machine. So with Archimedes came the operating system RISC, so put two or two together, they're designed for each other. So if you follow the link in my description, you will find a link to this website which is Arculator. So the latest release of Arculator, as you can see here, was September 2021, so it still maintains pretty well, and this is, looking at it, quite a fairly old emulator. Uh, work began on this around 2005 and it's been in steady development since 2021, so it looks pretty good to me. Uh, hence why I'm doing this tutorial, I'm trying to offer my subscribers and newcomers uh, the best tutorials I can offer. So let's download this. Uh, this is for uh, Windows and Linux. Uh, I use Windows 11. So if I just go to download, and like I said, it's for Linux as well as Windows. I'm going to download the Windows 2.1. And you're going to download a zip file. Uh, all I'm going to do is create a new desktop folder. So new folder. And I'm going to call this Acorn. So the downloaded file is going to just get dragged and drop into that Acorn folder. Once inside, I'm going to go down to my WinRAR and extract. And as always, whatever extraction program you use, it will work the same. So once we're in here and we have extracted the contents, you're going to see a host of subfolders. And there's a few .dll files. Uh, first thing you need to do is double left click on the Arculator application. Just double left click. Uh, you're going to come up with this uh, configuration manager, uh, which is pretty easy to navigate. If we just go to the plus at the bottom where it says new, left click on that. And the tutorial is going to be for the A4000 model, so OK on this. And our next option is going to be the machine type we want to emulate. So again, I'm going to select the A4000 model. And we're then going to go on to this next window, which is going to ask us to kind of refine uh, the hardware and what we want to emulate. So a stock standard is set this up for us. Um, it's going to be an ARM250 processor. Uh, memory stock is 2 meg. Uh, you can bump this up to 4 meg if you want to, which I'm going to. Um, I'm going to leave everything else as default. Under OS operating system, you've got a choice here from 3.10, 3.11, 3.19, but I'm going to stick with 3.11 for this one. You've also got the option here of adding your own .hdf well, hard drive uh, to use with this emulator. Uh, but I'm not covering that on this tutorial. And you've also got the option here to configure your controller. So you've got two ports in the Acorn Archimedes, just like on any other micro. If we just go down to this option here, slide it down. You can configure your own controller, simply a case of joystick one, and then selecting your controller. In my case, I use a PS3 controller, but I will say that not every Archimedes game is going to play with a controller so for that reason I'm not going to go through this but if you want to try it then go ahead there is a list on Google you can find which someone has compiled to which will tell you what works with which controller but uh, keyboard and mouse is fine for playing games especially lemons which I'm going to show you working so once all this is set up we're going to just go to OK so you're back to the configuration manager just highlight this, the A4000 I've just set up, and if we just go to load, so of course it's Acorn who designs the BBC microcomputer, so we got that symbolic beep, which is pretty cool. So uh, next thing is you've got your main computer mouse, which I'm 
wave runner rounds right now if you left click on this you're then gonna get the option to use the mouse cursor in the emulator so uh, what you need to do on this is asking us to exit this this will bring us back to using our regular desktop mouse so we're gonna want to play a game so this emulator uses .adf files the same as most Amiga emulators ADF files we want to load this we just go to disk and we're going to use drive zero. We're going to insert this .adf into that drive. Double left click. Now, if you look at the bottom here, there's a disk drive, which is drive zero. So double left click on this. And it's opened up our ADF and it's recognized it is lemons, hence the icon. So if we double left click on this again. And of course, it emulates the sound of the disk. And a lot of you new to the Archer Media to see Psygnosis and think of Amiga instantly, just like I did. So let's just start Lemons. So of course the classic Lemons, uh, made famous by the Commodore Amiga I believe in around 1985. It's not a game I used to play as a kid but I know it's very popular. So anyway, uh, let me show you what else you can do with this. Obviously you might want a full screen. I can do a lot from here. Uh, like I was just saying, I can actually change the sound of the disk drive, that spindle spinning you can hear. If I go to disk and I go to disk drive noise, as you can see right now it's on zero decibels. I can change this to six. And when you load games, it's gonna sound louder and it sounds good. I like the sound of that. So uh, obviously you're gonna want a full screen at some point. So for this, all we're going to do it's just exit out of the emulator and if I just go to video and full screen and it gives you a warning here how to exit this so control plus end simultaneously so obviously we need the umbrellas to save the lemons Okay, so once you shut the system down by control in escape, I use to exit, uh, open up articulator.exe application again, and this will be saved for you. So we're back at the configuration manager saying A4000. Simply load this again to bring back your risk OS. And finally, if you want to load up another game, every time you open this up, it's going to have your previous game inserted still. So if we just check this to double left click, there you go, it says Lemons. So in order to get rid of this, all we need to do is just exit this emulator. If I go back to disk and eject drive zero, your Lemons game should now be gone. So if I double left click back on the drive, it will say drive empty. If you want to load up another game, then you just go through the same process. So just exit the emulator, go to disk, and select Drive Zero. Uh, some games for the Archer Me disk, just like any other disk drive game from back in those days, might be on multiple disks. In that case, you're going to insert Drive Zero, Drive One, Drive Two. For example, I'm pretty sure the Quake game uh, it's got three disks, or that's Doom. So you'd insert Disk One into Drive Zero disk 2 into drive 1 and so on and your disks will then appear at the bottom and you can figure the rest out for yourselves I'm pretty sure. So other things you might be interested in experiment with on this emulator maybe you've never heard of the Acorn Archimedes before 
or you've always wanted one but they're far too expensive and they really are, uh, we can just experiment with this. So for example, if you just left click on the acorn icon, you have different options here to do just like a normal operating system around that era. Uh, just close out of this with the cross here. And we can also go into the app order. Now with the Archimedes, instead of double left clicking on the icon and have it open up, what this does is if you left click on it twice, you will then get a little symbol appear at the bottom. So to open it, you're actually going from the top down to the bottom, and I've opened this twice, and then you're going to double left click. And from here, you can tamper around with memory options, uh, screen memory options, and so on and so forth. So getting used to this operating system is a bit bizarre if you was an owner of a ST or even an Ego back in the day. So it's worth downloading this emulator just to say you've messed around with it or you at least played the Acorn Archimedes game. As you can see just now, the Lemmings game is very comparable with Amiga graphics and even the sound is pretty close to the Amiga, I'd say. So, this is a bit of pleasure for me to do because I've learned a lot about the Acorn Archimedes. I didn't know too much about it. I also recommend one of my favourite YouTubers if you want to find more about the Acorn Archimedes. That's Dan Wood. Uh, Dan Wood, he looks at a lot of these microcomputers, the 16-bit era, uh, Acorn, uh, Amiga being his favourite. So check that out. And obviously I'm on Facebook, so follow me on there so you don't miss any more videos if you have missed videos. And I hope this works out for you. If you've got any comments, follow me on Patreon for extra support. See you later.